think technology in general has been worked into everyone's day-to-day -day life. It is the first thing I do when I wake up and when I go to bed. It's easy to just pick up your phone, turn it on. Call a ride and just go wherever you want. New places to eat, new places to explore. It's great to stay in touch. I met my girlfriend on online dating apps, so I'd say that's a positive right there. Do you feel like you're in control of technology or is technology in control of you? Oof. Oh, it's definitely more control of me. My biggest issue with it is knowing when to stop. Five and ten minutes here and there, and I feel like it takes up, you know, takes up a bunch of my day. I feel like it's in control of me, like my phone's dead for like half the day or something, and I'm going crazy. I think my math grade is the way it is because of my phone. Now I notice my eyes are like a little, like I blink a little bit more, they get tired. He should just yeah. throw his phone away. <laughs> Usually I feel in control of technology, usually. Usually I can catch myself and be like, you need to chill out. I think you have to set a limit and say that you control the phone, it doesn't control you. I'd say most people hate on technology, but if you're using it for good things, I think it's really helpful. Well, we think it's important that they do have access to it and learn it. Technology is not so much as a necessary evil, it's a necessary good that could go either way. You know, the jury's out. It's up to us as to what we do with the technology.